Today we're going to talk about where you can find files uh, that are stored on your iPad. So most files on your iPad are going to be stored in one of three places. Uh, the first of those places is your Photos app. So if I take a picture with my camera or shoot some video with my camera, it will record that video and then everything that it's recorded will get saved right here into my Photos app. In that Photos app, I can go to either months, days, years, or all photos and see every photo that I have in here. Um, so anything that is photo related that I've saved off the internet, maybe a picture I took with my camera or video I shot with my camera, all get saved here in the Photos app. Now, the other location that most of your things might be stored in uh, has to do with Google Drive. Now, Google Drive has its own app that lives on your iPad. And the Google Drive app is where you're gonna find almost everything that is Google related. So when I go to Google Drive, it'll ask me to log in the first time I open it. And once I've logged in, I'll be able to see all of the files that I've created using Google. And if I tap the plus sign, I could create new docs, sheets, or slides directly from here. Now the other location you'll find files that are saved on your iPad is using the Files app. Now the Files app looks like this blue folder down here. And when I simply tap it to open it, it will open up the Files app. Now the Files app actually has a couple different views at the bottom. So I can either go to a browse view, which will show me all the folders I have on my device, or I can go to Recents, which shows me the things that were recently created. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Browse. And you'll notice that in the upper left-hand corner, I see iCloud Drive on my iPad or recently deleted. The iCloud Drive is where it's going to save files that I've created on my iPad that are not cloud-based. So for example, if I created things in Pages, Keynote, Numbers, uh, maybe some iMovie projects, things like that, those things are gonna get saved on my iPad and then they will be backed up automatically to iCloud Drive. Uh, because that's the way our school devices are set up. So if I wanted to, I could go to iCloud Drive and I could open up my Keynote folder here and I'd be able to see all my Keynote presentations. Same thing with a Pages folder, etc., etc. Now, I could also, in this folder here, when I go to Browse, um, at the top, if I pull down, there is a folder option to create a new folder. And so I could create folders in here to be able to save. So I'm going to make a Science folder and tap Done. And so now when I go to save something, I can choose to save it into one of these folders if I want. So speaking of saving things, uh, let's say I'm in a document like a pages document here, and I wanted to save this to my files app. What I can do is simply tap these three dots in the upper right hand corner, and most apps are gonna give you the ability to either share or export something. So by default, pages documents get saves in a pages folder in my iCloud drive, but if I wanted to, I could go ahead and tap export, and I could choose to maybe export this as a PDF file. Now, once I do that, it's gonna ask me where do I want this to go? And you'll notice right here in my share sheet, there's an option that says save to files. And then from here, it's gonna ask me which folder I'd like this to go in. So there's my science folder from before. I can simply tap on it and tap save, and then it just got saved into that folder. Now, Google files work the same way. So if I simply had a Google doc that was open, I would simply tap on those three dots in the upper right hand corner and I would go to simply share and export and this time I could go ahead and tell it to send a copy. It's going to ask me to choose a format, PDF is fine, and now it's going to ask me where to put it. And again from here I could go ahead and tell it to save to my files app. And then which folder I would go, let's choose maybe this one and hit save, and then those things would then be saved in my files app to be able to find later. So I go back to my iCloud Drive, and in my Files app, I have a Science app that now has one file in it, and I go back in ELA file, or app that has one file in it, and again, here's my Pages folder with that Pages file that was just created. I could also choose how this folder is organized. I can see it in a list view, or in column view, or an icon view, and simply organize it by name, date, size, kind, or tag can even search if I need to be able to find something. Now, the iCloud Drive and on my iPad shows you the files that are saved locally on your device, but in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see these three dots. If I tap on these three dots, I can actually go to Edit, and as long as I've set up my Google Drive app, I can actually turn on Google Drive, 
and then have access to all of my Google Drive files right here in my Files app. So now if I tapped on Google Drive, I'll see all of the files that live in my Google Drive. And if I tapped on one, it would simply open it up in the appropriate app, just like that. So those three locations are where you're gonna find most of the files on your device. So again, either my Photos app, or in my Google Drive app, or in my Files app, which has a link to everything in my iCloud Drive and then also in my Google Drive, which I have access to. Now, from time to time, your teachers are gonna ask you to turn in things. And when your teachers are gonna ask you to turn something in, the Canvas student app is probably where you're going to do that. So if I'm in my Canvas student app and I simply go to a class that I need to turn an assignment in, I can go to my assignments and I can find the assignment I need to turn in. So maybe this is it right here. Now at the bottom, there's a button that says submit assignment. When I tap submit assignment, it's gonna ask me uh, where do I wanna get that assignment? And in this case, I wanna do a file upload. And now you'll notice some buttons down here at the bottom. So camera would open up my camera and allow me to take a picture with my camera. But the library button right next to it, that is my photo library. So anything that I've saved to the photos app, that saves it into, again, my photo library to be able to access those. So if I tap on that, I can see all of the things in my photo library and be able to attach things from there. The files button is just what you would expect. That is my files app. And again, down here at the bottom, I can do either recent documents or browse all documents. And I can even tap up here on locations to be able to get two things in my iCloud Drive, my iPad, or even my Google Drive if I need to. So if I wanted to turn this in, I would simply tap on it. It would show up in that list and I would go ahead and tap submit to submit it. Now another option I have is all three of those locations to save files also allow me to share. And from those places, I can share directly to Canvas as well. So if I'm in my Photos app, and I have a photo open here, and then I want to turn this in as part of an assignment, all I have to do is hit my share arrow up here at the top. And you'll notice that there is a list of share options, and including one of those is the student app. All I have to do is tap the student app. It'll ask me to choose what course I need to turn this in for. So maybe I'd choose this as my course, and then which assignment it goes with. So I would go ahead and submit that course, an assignment and tap submit and then that would get turned into that course and I'll get a pop-up that shows up across the top that tells me my assignment has been submitted. So that works great in the Photos app. I can also do the same thing in the Files app. So if I'm in the Files app, if it's something saved to my iCloud Drive, like maybe this keynote presentation, I could go ahead and tap on it. And once I open it up, I could go ahead and share it. So if I tap my three dots, I want to tell it to share. You'll see the same share options. This time again, I want to choose student. And then I'll, same as before, choose my course, choose my assignment, and hit submit to turn it in. Now finally, I could also do the same thing with things in my Google Drive. So I'm in my Files app, and I have something in Google Drive that I need to turn in. I can open that up and it will open it in the appropriate app. Now, Google Drive takes a couple extra steps to turn in, but it works essentially the same way. Once I have my document open, I'm gonna to tap the to three dots in the upper right-hand corner. I'm gonna tell it to share and export first. And then I wanna do what's called send a copy. And that's gonna take a copy of this and it's gonna send it to Canvas. It asks me to choose a format, I can just tap okay. And then I'll see those same exact share options I had before. I choose student, to Sarah to Canvas student, choose the course, choose the assignment, can type in some comments and hit submit. So that's all there is to saving files on your iPad and turning them in to Canvas.